while we're here today today we're going to be doing an unboxing i'm doing i'm showing the march box for bass finder my son's going to be doing the uh mystery tackle box for this month which is april correct i think so yeah so i've seen the box he hasn't we're just going to go and get his reaction what he thinks about it and if, see if he's comfortable enough yet to do this <laughs> yeah it's a little awkward <laughs> It is a little awkward because it's like, it's like, wow, who are you talking to? It's like speaking to a crowd that's not there. Yeah, but they are because of the cameras. That's our, my whopping. That's your audience. Five people that watch and, and we, I get a lot of, I get a lot of people that don't, that are not subscribed. 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. Subscribe. <laughs> But you go ahead. Do you want to open this box first? Or you want to open your box? I'm curious what you got in yours first. I'm curious. Okay. The only thing missing out of this is that one crankbait. You can see that in my video. But everything's there. I think I gave away that crankbait. I think your brother got a hold of it. So you can look. You go ahead and if you want to look at that one, go ahead and look at that one first if you want. Want a square bill? How do you like a color on that square bill? It's like a speckled silver. I think it looks cool, but I don't know how to use it. <laughs> right, yeah. Because you're a lot you're you're really new to this. Yeah, I just mainly use the lipless. But that's the idea of these boxes, even with the, all the other competitors. Get out of your comfort zone. And this is a top water one, right? No, that is a crank that's actually like a crankbait slash jerkbait they came out with a few years ago. And it if I remember right, it runs oh five, around five feet. Is that what it says on there? No, I'm looking. You're looking. Of course, it's got a little. What's this? Well, what do you think of that color? Thinking maybe summertime. Yeah, it's kind of got like a bluegill color, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So when the spawn starts to get towards me over that's gonna be a really good color i think as far as summer be best for this one right well actually considering it's like a, it's kind of like a jerk bait and it's a smaller presentation you can actually right now start getting really good bites off of that right now including the square bill well i got a bunch of these worms but i don't know yeah you don't know much about worms do i you? do not know I normally just tie them on the end of a hook, or if I'm running a um, a spinner bait, I'll tie something like a soft plastic. Just get that little wiggle going. Yeah, that's I, a good idea. I tie them on soft plastic or soft plastic on my spinner bait. You go ahead and set them on the side. You don't have to set them right there wherever you want. A lot of these baits you're not you're not used to. You're you're like a lipless junkie fan. Yeah, I like the lipless. They're easy for me to use. <laughs> and these ones, don't they? Those are flukes. Rig them weightless, just like you do the worm. I was thinking of looking like a minnow. Like, yeah. What color does that say on there? It should be say right down here. Oh, minnow magic. Yeah. It's a whipless shad minnow magic. So yeah. Looks like a minnow. Perfect. Now this next this next one here I think you might like. You might actually. That's a a tiny little kind of like a tiny little lipless. It looks like a spinner on the end there. Mm -hmm. Is that to help it move like this or is it the It it spins like a, you know like a spinner bait has the blades that spin on them. That's the same thing but it's on the back and it but it operates a lot like it's a lot for throwing it out there, let it sink, rip it up. Let it drop, rip it up, let it drop. But you got to reel up the slack while it's dropping. So that way it doesn't get stuck in the rocks. So you got to keep it away from the bottom. Yep. Just like a regular wood push. Just like a regular, yep. And that's uh, Bass Finder's bait of the month from last month. That's the, the Hot Shot Minnow by Exxon Lures. What's the color on that? That's Minnow Magic 2, isn't it? Just this Minnow Magic. Only. Yeah, so it's the same color as the... Uh, well, I was thinking more of a clear clear bait. Yeah, you can put those in a drop shot. You can put them on a uh, little 
Ned Rig. I haven't fished him yet because I I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to drop shots. <laughs> so overall, what'd you think of that box? Reminds me of the Carl's bait and tackle. Got a lot of the same stuff in there. A lot of variety. Stuff you'd never used before. Oh yeah, because mainly do this, I get lipless or soft baits. Yeah. This one, last month we got a lot of hard baits in. Last month, my favorite. I still got my last month's box in my car. Do you? Yeah, I got all of them. <laughs> I got all the ones that just previously came in in my car. That one right there, that's the Banger 110 we got in last month's box. I I killed it on me. So I, got, I must have caught like 12, 13 fish in the winter time off that one bait right there. So, I'll say all of them so are, how would you rate that from one to ten? I give it a solid eight, eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. I, I don't hate it. I'd order that box. You order that box? Yeah, I like getting these mystery boxes so I can never make up my mind at the store. Well, let's compare this month's box, Mystery Attack box. Of course, you get the Dibble Digest. I don't know what that is. That's the first time I received one of these. <laughs> you get one of every box. Oh, I do? Yeah. I didn't know that. They kind of tell you what's in, how to work the baits and such. No, that looks cool, and I've never seen anything like that one before. That is an underspin. That's their 10,000 fish, the cycle bait. It has a much different action than most underspins out there. I thought it was a neat looking, like a, like a spin bait. Like You know, the funny thing is, I've never had much luck on underspins, and I tried these, and I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but they are cool looking. They are, I'll give them that. Oh yeah, another frog. Yeah. Looks like Bassfinder might be in trouble with this box looking at the contents for myself. Yeah, leap frogs. Isn't this like the popper one that I got in my last couple boxes? Uh, that one's a walking one. I actually have a popper. Same if, company. I don't know if you want to compare them. Yeah, they're... This one's a hollow, they're both hollow body frogs. One's a walking, one's a popping. Both great baits. Get that one in the April box, mystery tackle box. So far, it's it doesn't look good for Bass Finder comparing these two. Justice Jig, I'm a jig fanatic. I gotta take a look at this. I'm gonna steal this from you, son. I don't care, I don't want to use, <laughs> I don't use 90% of the stuff I get in, unless it's yeah, lip I gotta really look at this. Uh, inset molded eye for less snagging. I don't know if I believe that. Flat head for better swimming action. Maybe. Stand up head for better presentation. If you don't think I don't believe in Justice Jigs, I just picked this up the other day. Justice Jigs are pretty legit jigs. So let's take a look at this one. Oh! That is... Let me open up this one. The same exact design, but that's the fin that's got to be like a finesse version. See the difference? This look, fell at, off. look at the thick. Oh yeah, that counts with that. That's just a rattle weight. Yeah, see the difference in the hooks? One's bigger, one's smaller, one's thicker, one's thinner. Yeah. More rattles. That came with mine. But look at the heads. The heads are the exact same design. These are legit jigs. They sit, they fall, and they sit. They sit upright. You got a float and bait, it will keep that jig upright the entire time. That's a wicked color, too. What is the color on that thing? I'm sorry. I took, I'm taking over your stuff. Uh, read that for your old man. I can't read it. What's the color on that jig? I don't know what to say the color at. It doesn't say? I don't see no color in there. This has a feature. Finesse jig, assorted skirt. So it's an assorted skirt. That's, it's got black, yellow, brown. It's got a little bit of everything in it, except for blue. A little, a little bit more green. Sure, it's not orange or, or tan. It's kind of a tannish brown. Yeah. This thing reminds me of a tiger's um, pelt. Here, I'll quit taking over your stuff here. I'll let you. Here. <laughs> I love tackle. I can't. What can I say? 
Oh, these look nifty. This what caught my eye earlier. What you got there? Uh, Scorpit Tail. Scorpit Tail by Biowa. Or Scorpit Tail. That's a fluke. Oh, I'm saving that. I wonder where you got your big hands from getting your old man here. Look at that. That'd be perfect. I just thought they looked cool. That's that's for a perfect little dude. This is like this is a good example to put these two up against. Really, right now this is because that would be great for drop shotting. We're not gonna drop shot a fluke too much. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I threw it in the bottom of that box. These two would make great for drop shotting. This one's just a little bit bigger. Get one out. But it goes to show you. See how similar they are? Yeah, the green one's a little fatter and longer. Mm -hmm. This, they both represent bait fish, and you both can hit them on a hook and just wiggle them around. This one floats though. I like the color of silver too, though. They both. You look like cool. this one better? I don't. Know. I think they both look cool. I like the plain green but also like how that one just it's, stands out it's got a nice to have that option between the two isn't it yeah it's like if, they, if they're not biting on this one to try this yeah, one to see if they'll I bite that one both out back and forth yeah that's pretty cool but i see one i'm saving for last in this box that's interesting look at that little cut inside there you think that's for um to help it move underwater quicker or i think like it's if you're gonna for instance put it on a hook this would be a hook to do it with. This is a one out hook. Sorry, you, I'm just peeking ahead. <laughs> so if you're like if you're like stuck in grass, there's a whole bunch of grass and you don't you can't use your tiny little hooks because it's gonna get I just go through the nose. If you want to keep that sucker from getting stuck in the weeds, you just take this little e, one out EWG hook, rig it right there. You see, you got that little slot. Yeah, it slides in there. It's even got like even a little spot where a little shows you where to put a hook through. Mine go back a little further than that. So if you're drop shotting, and bam, you got the perfect little weedless hook that's not going to get caught in the grass. But yet, when they bite it, they're going to get that hook. I like that. I'm going to let you keep that hook. This is your box, so pre set up. Okay, I'll pre set you up one. I'll have to show you how to tie it up later, too. Because I've, I've never, I haven't taught him everything that there is. No, he likes to throw lipless on and keep running with that, and he's pretty efficient with it. All right, what's next in the box? Oh, I'm saving one for last. I'll tell you that right yeah. now. <laughs> I think I know which one you're saving for last. I can see it from here. <laughs> now, this one. Is it sad imitation or that looks like a okay that is a super swimmer by bruiser baits bruiser baits is a great company that one there it has the kind of it's kind of got the paddle tail like you put on a spinner bait or a chatter bait it doesn't have a little or you're just trying to run it real slow it's got a real finesse kick to it it doesn't have a really hard kick and it's called new penny which is Go ahead and pull one out and just take a look at it. Oh, that one smells good. Must not pull them out. They smell bad. <laughs> kind of. Really, it's got kind of a plastic smell. I don't really have a scent to it. Well, I pulled one out the first time I got this box, and it did not <laughs> smell like that. It smelled like like shrimp, probably. Yeah, uh, something like a bottom feeder fish. It smelled like like catfish. It didn't smell too grand. The only thing I don't like is a new penny. I don't like the color on that. It kind of reminds you like a goldfish. Now I bet you, like a lot of the ponds where I'm at, they don't, you know, they're not near the city. But I bet you, if you took that inside the city in Topeka, like Governor's Pond mm -hmm. or Shawnee State Lake, I bet you. I bet you do pretty good on that out and around there. I don't like soft packages either because you see that tail? Yeah, it's just sitting there crooked. Is, is distorted. That's another reason why I like clamshells better than I do the, just the straight packaging. You got a pretty good box this month. 
Yes, I don't watch too much. In my opinion. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a full supporter of Carl's and a Bass Finder. Which you can use then 10 to get 10% off your uh, next order. I'm going to try this, this bookless next. That eye looks sick. I thought you were going to save that one for last. No, no, the other one I'm saving for oh. last. That one looks cool. <laughs> this one does not look as cool as the one in there right now. I've never used that brand. I'm a, I think that's a Japanese brand. Yeah, it says right there, Japan Design. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's pretty dope. Open that up and show the cameras up. And look, and what's the color say on that? Um, I need a drink. I'm not sponsored by this drink, so I'm not gonna give them free, free advertising. Silver lining. Silver lining? That's at the bottom there. Yep. Suspending. You know what that means, right? No. That means when you're, when you throw it out there and you start reeling, it'll start reeling down. But when you stop it, okay. it won't, it'll stop. When a regular lip will sink, that will stop. And just sit there? And just sit there and it'll sit there at an angle too. It'll sit there at the angle with your pulling it. So it'll sit, it'll stop just like that. That works wonders. That's, that's a real cool bait. <coughs> I'm covering the eye. There we go. I'm a big fan of those, but I like the slow sink better. Six cents. I'm gonna plug them in there because I love six cents. That's that. Uh, that's that Rambo red. If I get hooked, I call or if I don't get hooked, I call it successful <laughs> repackaging. Well, you know, if you do, I do have my pliers around here somewhere. We can get it out. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> I got you, son. Oh, yeah. I got it back in there safe. <laughs> <laughs> Not our finesse jig. I'm going to show that one Oh, next. yeah. This is all by old Guggen. I'm a jig fan. Love jigs. My fan put that back over there. That's this, this one you're about to open right here. This is one of my favorite ones. It's a little juicy jig. And what's the color? Is that Okeechobee Craw? I'm just guessing because I know, I know their colors well. It should say in the back on the sticker. Yeah, you're right. Okie choby crawl. Okay, choby crawl. Yeah. Four out of ten is what it says. <coughs> no, it says four slash zero. You know what that means? The fourth one? It's okay. a four aught. That's oh. the size of the hook it's on there. It's a four aught. Like, see, this one's a, this one that I put on that bait earlier is a one aught. This is different sizes of hooks and how big they are, how long they are. <laughs> Should have used a knife. Yeah, I got her. I got her. You got her. I think I know which one you're saving for last now, though. Because yeah. that one's. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, I've seen it advertised. I've seen other people do it in their own boxes, but I, I have no idea. I've never seen it before. But I, I know those. I wish it had the eyeballs like the other one. What what size is it? Is it five sixteenths? Yeah, five sixteenths. That five sixteenths. You put a, a crack and crawl. And green pumpkin on that thing. Throw it out there. It gets a nice little fall. Those bass this time of year, they love that slow fall. Now, is this just one where you just sort of jerk it and then butt hit the ground, jerk it again? And then well, it. it's generally what you want to do is either drag it or give it a couple hops. When you hop it, you want it to come off the bottom. This is this is proven big bait, big bass getter. And it hits the bottom, you let it sit. Let it sit for about three to five seconds. Don't move it. You just sit there and talk with your buddy or just sit there and stare for five seconds. And then you want to give it a little hop and then another pop. What that does is that one little hop and then give it a pop and then it'll slow fall. That is, if you've ever watched a, craw, a crawfish, crawdad, whatever you want to call them, and they take off, they go swoop, boom, 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 boom. They give pumps with their back tail and they're out of there. That's what that pretty much does. It's a hop and then you give it another pump and it, it goes whoop and then it falls and then it'll land almost like in an upright position in a defensive mode. That little juicy jig with that slow fall. Man, that thing, that thing's beautiful. So it makes it, the whole point of these, the skirt is to make it look bigger 
Yeah, is to give it a bigger profile. And when it's sitting there, and on windy days, it's got the water chopping, these, this skirt will be sitting there just moving, just, just barely moving around. But that's giving it a secondary action that you don't have to do nothing. You just let it sit there. And those waves come in, it makes the, it makes the claws go up and do this. It's got the, the skirt sitting there doing this. It's got a whole, it's, it's like a bait that it comes to life all on its own. When it's windy out. And then when you take off, the skirt pinches around it. And then all it sees is a cr the claws. Great. That's a great jig right there. It's one of my favorite jigs. So I need to put an order in. Pronto. I guess that's how it goes in here. Yeah. Hey, speaking of that crawl you're talking about, this would pair well with this. Yep. It really, it really will. And the funny thing is about egg zone lures. What's that say? Floating claws. So, show the people at home. So yeah, when you put those two together and it sits on the bottom, that bait floats. It'll hold them claws up in like a defensive position. And they'll they'll go after it. You might have to cut it down a little bit because how big of a profile right that back is. Back down in here. Yep. About okay. almost halfway. But yeah. That's a good combination right there. Well, I mean, I say it for last. I'm gonna show the stickers before they get to see this last bait. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get there for a sticker? Looks like a um, octopus fighting a fish. bass. Bass. Pretty cool sticker. I know you love stickers. Oh, I do. I got more at home. I don't stick it on nothing. I just like collecting them. What's that? Celebrate or cycle bait underspin. Teaches me how to use. Something that came in this package. Did you lose your cycle bait already? There right here. Well, instructional guide on how to use this. Yeah, that's pretty nice with Carl's. They do do that. If you, I don't know what I'm doing with them, so I appreciate things like that. The little things sometimes. It really is. What? <laughs> I just noticed this oh thing's cool. Oh, I've just, noticed that online. I'm like, where do they get that from? I grew that beard. And I and I just canceled my. I didn't cancel. I suspended my subscription. So my son gets to have the beard, and I don't. Here, you put this on your face, and we can use it as a crop mail or a crop photo <laughs> for your, you know, intro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. All right, um, I love that. That that's hilarious. Now here's the one I've been waiting for last. I'll let you do the honors. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. the bottom's already open. It's already ready. It's ready to go. That's a lunker hunt easy prey. Uh, I'm gonna plug a YouTuber right now. He's got a video on this. You might want to watch. Oh, Gas Geek on YouTube. He I believe he came out with a video on how to fish this. If not, Carl's baiting. It's not Carl's Bait and Tackle anymore, you know that? It's what? Carl's, uh, like, Living Outdoors or something. They changed the name. I'm used to Carl's Bait and Tackle, but they actually changed the name. But, yeah, the Easy Prey. What color is this? The color is Silver Side. That's a pretty, that's a pretty cool-looking bait. I have no idea how to fish this. I really don't. So, it says, well, they still have this Carl's Bait and Tackle on their site. Yeah, but I got an email saying they changed, they changed the name. I took part in a, uh, they, if you're like a member, they'll send you uh, emails. I'm still a member, yeah. Yeah, they'll send you an email where you can take part of surveys. And I, I took a survey, and that's where I found out they changed the name. Why don't you go ahead and unbox that thing so show everybody at home. Here I am trying to, oh, come get your bass finder, but I love bass mining. I really do, but I think Carl's knocked it out of the park with this box this month. I, I'm still waiting on bass miner's next box, and you can, you can get it to where you get it sooner. These things look awesome. You know, I think the hook's supposed to be up there like this. 
Yeah, they got oh, three man. hooks, three treble hooks. Yeah. Is that legal in Kansas? Because I know there's a certain limit for your baits. Oh, you know, that's a good point. We might have to take one off because we're you are only allowed two hooks. Yeah, because of, I remember you're telling me about the umbrella rig and you're saying you can't mm -hmm. use it because of the amount of hooks it has on there. Yeah, so we'd have to take one of those hooks off and I'd take that top one off. I really would if we're going to take any off. That's that's. What kind of build is that? It's, like, it's, it's like got a, a weird looking build. It's kind of like a swim bait action on there. You know what? It's got a build, so it's going to fish when you swim it. The hooks are sharp! Hey, you got your right there. <laughs> You're just warning me about that. Yeah. I'm not used to hooks being on top of this thing. But no, when you fish it, it looks like with that bill being right there, it's going to fish like a crankbait. And those hooks are sticky. I'm going to grab the feathers because I'm tired of getting those hooks in my fingers. But it'll, it looks like it'll fish like this. That's different. Like, it will really imitate a dying bait fish. Here, take your contract. Here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's all right. Get your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need a tetanus shot by the time we're done here today. But I think we're pretty much done, aren't we? Yeah, that was the last thing in my box other than the beard. The beard. The beard. Let me see the beard. I got to have the beard. I got to see the beard. I'm going to put this on the mom when she's sleeping and take a picture of the mom with the beard. <laughs> oh, look at this. Carl's beard contest. Post your best impression of Carl by taking a selfie with his beard and sharing it with the world. We'll pick our favorite impersonations and we'll share them on the Mystery Tiger Box Instagram or Twitter. How to enter. Take a selfie of you with this beard and post it to Instagram or Twitter with the following hashtags. Hashtag fishing beard, hashtag mystery tackle box. Good luck. So you might want to get in on that, son. You might be able to I don't know about that. Who knows what you'll win? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and with that note, we're going to end today's video. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. That's right. <laughs>